guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. And today we're talking about a health routine for dogs. channel welcome my name is Mai this is Herky this is Milton we do dog lifestyle video and we are your go-to source for everything Cavalier so speaking of Cavaliers today's video is going to be focused on common hereditary issues in Cavaliers and how we have a health routine in, in order to help manage these hereditary diseases of course disclaimer before we start this video I am no expert I am just a calf mom that really loves her dogs and I do my research in order to provide them with the best life possible before we jump into the health routine I just wanted to brush up on the common hereditary issues that unfortunately Cavalier King Charles have. The most common issue that you're going to hear about all the time is mitral valve disease also known as MVD and this is the most common culprit of Cavaliers usually by the age of five one in three Cavaliers will have a heart murmur. I am very proud to say that Herky and Milton are still heart clear at eight years old and six years old so that I'm very very proud of. The second one would be SM or syringomyelia, also known as Chiari malformation, and that is when the skull of the cavaliers is too small for the brain and then it squeezes the fluid into their spinal cord and that causes them a lot of pain and causes a lot of neurological symptoms that are very, honestly, very hard to watch. So I am very lucky that Herc and Milton do not have that. And I do think it's definitely genetics and how your cavalier is bred, whether or not you're gonna get those hereditary issues. If you want to adopt a Cavalier, just make sure that they do appropriate health testing to make sure that your Cavaliers are as healthy as possible because unfortunately these diseases are common. Another very common hereditary issue in Cavalier is patellar luxation, which means that the kneecap can stay in place and it kind of moves from one side to another and over time this can cause a lot of arthritis and it can cause joint issues as well. It can cause dislocation and a bunch of other issues. Uh, Herky and Milton do have patellar luxation. Milton has two of them and Herky has one. They have been diagnosed over three years ago, but they have been asymptomatic since. They have no limping, no pain, and no physical symptoms. Like they don't, they don't have an odd gait, they don't limp, and they don't have pain, which was very important to me. So this video is kind of a health routine that I think really contributed to keeping Herky and Milton healthy up until this age and this is just a few points of what we did in order to keep them that way. So the first point that is the most important I think is diet and I've talked about diet multiple times on this channel. I really do believe in raw food diets for Herc and Milton. They have been on it for years and they are as healthy as can be. If you want to see more videos on diet, I have a full playlist on what Herc and Milton eat how we transition from kibble to raw, um, Herky's weight loss journey. She lost so much weight when we switched from kibble to raw and I really do think that that contributes to an overall healthier cavalier. Just because the weight can also affect the heart, whether or not they're going to be more prone to diabetes, it can, it's going to affect their joints, it's going to affect a lot of things. So a healthy weight is very important, which the crucial element I think is diet. The second thing that is really important to keep your dogs healthy is exercise. And I can't stress this enough. Now that we live in a house, we do have a yard and Herky and Milton do use the backyard now for their potty. But uh, remember that a backyard does not mean exercise. Like usually if you will notice your dogs going outside, they don't play, they don't run, they don't walk around, they just sort of like go around, they do the same old thing. They just do their potty and they go back in. So even if you have a backyard, that doesn't mean that your dog is getting enough exercise. Make sure that your dog has about 30 minutes to an hour of exercise every day. And I do know that that can be very difficult to do. I know because we have a new baby now and it's on some days, I will admit that they do not get their exercise. And I'm the first one to admit that I can be guilty of that. But do make sure that your dog gets as much exercise as possible whenever you can, especially when it's nice outside. They really do need the exercise in order for their heart to stay healthy, for their bodies to stay lean, for their joints to, to stay healthy and happy. All in all, exercise is just great for your dog. Try to bring your dog to new and different areas for them to sniff. It's very healthy and great for them mentally as well. 
to see and sniff new environments. Repetition can be very mundane for them, so they like new and exciting things. That's why just staying in their yard can be very boring for them. The third point I want to mention is vet checkups. Now, vet checkups are very important, and you should really take these seriously, even if your dogs are healthy, like Herky and Milton. I consider them very healthy dogs, but I still go for checkups every year just to make sure that everything is okay. Dogs are very good at hiding any ailments or pain that they may have, so vets can definitely check to make sure that everything is okay. They're gonna check the eyes, the ears, the mouth, the gums, and especially with their teeth, dogs can usually hide when they have something wrong with their mouth, so make sure that you check all that. So diseases can progress as well, so it doesn't mean that your dog is healthy one year, that they're gonna stay healthy the next year. So that's why we go every year to just have their joints checked out, their knees, and especially their hearts to make sure that they are in top shape. And last but certainly not least, in order to maintain a good health routine for your dogs is supplements. If you've been a follower of ours for a while, you know that we are big fans of supplements for Herky and Milton. I've been giving supplements to Herky and Milton for years just to support their joints, to support the mobility of their joints, to support their overall health. And the joints that we are currently using for Herky and Milton's patellar relaxation is the Joint Care True Pro from Pet Lab Co. And they are our sponsor of the day. So thank you so much, Pet Lab, for sponsoring our video. You guys know that we only accept the sponsorships from brands that we actually like. So we've been using this for a little while and we really like them. The girls really love them. What I do love about these is the ingredients. And they are such top-notch ingredients that I really do believe the support the joint stiffness and the joint mobility and it can really help health overall. Hurricane and Milton are both under 25 pounds so they actually share one chew per day. So just to go over the ingredients, there's glucosamine, there's green lip muscle, there's anchovy oil, curcogen and hyaluronic acid which are ingredients that I really do think contribute to Hurricane and Milton's healthy joints. So glucosamine is an ingredient we really enjoy because it's been shown to help lubricate the joints. Green lip muscle is also amazing because it can support occasional joint discomfort. Curcumin is amazing because that's the golden spice that has been used for human health for generations. In joint supplements for dogs, it supports a normal inflammatory response while also working to promote healthy joint fluidity and maintaining mobility. There's also chondroitin that occurs naturally in the body and it's a major component of cartilage, the connective tissue that can cushion the joints. And hyaluronic acid, I'm a big fan of this ingredient because it supports joint health by acting as a lubricant and shock absorber, therefore supporting joint mobility. It can also support a healthy immune system. So all in all, there's just so many good ingredients in these chews and we've been giving these daily for the girls to support their joints and manage their patellar luxation. If you would like to try Pet Lab Co, do visit the link in the description box below. I have more information for you there. And thanks again for Pet Lab for sponsoring this video. So this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you gathered some important and useful information. We always love sharing these Cavalier health videos with you because it's very important to me. And if it's important to me, I'm sure it's important to a lot of you as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And until next time, we love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.